Hey friendlies, I'm Carolyn and welcome back to my RV life. In today's video, I'm taking you back in time before Sadie to a beautiful, gorgeous spot that I had north of Tucson, Arizona. It was my first time really exploring the Tucson area and I spent several days there. I did some geocaching. I did some edibles. I'll leave it at that. I did some edibles, and that was interesting, so stay tuned for that. I also tried to fix my Wii Boost. I put my Wii Boost up, and um, I'm going to leave the rest of the story. So there's some more troubleshooting, if you like that, and that's in this video. And also just some amazing, gorgeous views about a new uh, from a new area of Arizona that I have never explored before. So don't worry if you are here for your Sadie fix. That's going to be at the end. I have some little clips of Sadie at the end so stay tuned for that and uh, enjoy today's video speaking of Sadie hi girly what you doing sweet girl you want to say hi you want to say hi what is oh yes you do oh yes you do say hi everybody say hi <laughs> she's doing great we'll have videos of her coming soon so stay tuned there ain't nobody gonna do it for you got to find her home Geocache, where are you? Let me see. I can't film and navigate at the same time. Okay, this is the part where I get off the trail. Oftentimes, uh, it seems to me like a lot of four-wheeler quad people, um, OHV people, do the caches because they're often, in, at least in the desert, I see them a lot in the OHV areas. And so this one came down a wash that, you know, uh, I wouldn't drive down unless I was in a four-wheel driver quad. But now it's off the path. So now I just wander around the desert using the navigation on the app to zero in on its location. And then a lot of times the last few, you get within 30 feet of it on the app, it says. So a lot of times it's just a matter of scouting around until you find it. So let's see how easy this one is or how hard. Isn't this crazy out here though? I mean, what a big difference from the quartzite um, Ehrenberg area. It's so green, and it feels very Christmassy. Just with, I don't know why, I know those of you who live in the forest think that doesn't look anything like Christmas, but for some reason it looks like Christmas to me. Oops, I was too busy filming, wasn't paying attention, I went on the wrong side of the wash. <laughs> I'm like, why is it saying I'm getting further away from it? Because I'm on the wrong side of the wash. Okay, so the app said I was, as I was walking, it said four feet. So sometimes, especially, I don't know if it depends on your, it shouldn't depend on your signal because it's on GPS. But sometimes if you're walking fast, it takes a minute for the app to kind of catch up to tell you how far away you are. So it said I was four feet and then it jumped from four to like 18 or something like that. And uh, so I backtracked following the line and uh, the closest I got was eight feet. And I started looking around doing this a while. I mean, I don't know. I haven't done it a whole bunch. I think this is like my 14th find. But uh, in the desert, you kind of, well, I don't know. You kind of start knowing what to look for. Maybe, kind of, maybe, sometimes. <laughs> anyway, I found it. I'm going to check it out, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to spoil it for you. So I'm just going to check it out. I will show you that this one looks like, this is one of the bigger ones I have found. Sometimes I just literally find like pill bottles. So let's see what's inside. All right. Can I sit down? I didn't bring a backpack or water or anything. Not much. I keep forgetting to, uh, Keychain. Just tokens. Another keychain. The most fun is, um, I have yet to find anything like super cool, but the most fun is just getting to sign the book. That's really why I do it. Just to say I did it. Oh, and I get to check in and say I have another find. Okay, that was fun. I'm just going to put it back and continue my walk. See if maybe find another along the way, but I don't think there's any around. But this is awesome. So these are edible. 
These are the pods on the top of the uh, barrel cactus. I've never tried them. The seeds inside are edible. See? I'm going to try them. Why not? So if you're ever out here and starving to death, and I think these were like, maybe like chia seed nutrition? Maybe? I don't remember. Let's try them. Ready? They have no flavor. <laughs> so they're fine. But if you're around in the desert and you're starving, they have, do have some nutritional value. I will look that up and put it down here and tell you what that nutritional value is because I forget. But important stuff. <laughs> hmm. I just ate a barrel, baby barrel cactus. Did you know, I just heard a report that... What'd they say? Plants scream when they're in distress. <laughs> so, did I see it down? I'm Stephen Colbert. So, uh, yeah. So for all of us vegans, what did they say? <laughs> the kale is screaming as it goes down our throats. That's pretty funny right there. But who knows? Maybe someday they will find that plants suffer when we eat them. Who knows? Look what literally just jumped up and got me. And it hurts. I'm gonna need some pliers. Okay, I got it. But it hurt. I'm probably bleeding. Alright, I got a little bit more to get. Yeah, a little bit. Not bad. Yeah, you know, this is what I worried about with Huck. These and puppies. Yeah. Not so good. And they literally do kind of like jump on you. Jumping Choya. Bye-bye, Jumping Choya. <laughs> Whew, and that still stings. Those things are serious, man. Okay, and welcome to my camp. This I did, I'm actually exactly in a spot that's listed on freecampsites.net, which is very rare. Um, I don't usually do that. Usually because they're taken. And I usually go beyond what is on free campsites. I'll usually go like, like I said before, freecampsites.net I use as a guide to see where public lands are. And then oftentimes I'll just go explore further. A lot of people stay on the exact sites listed. That's why I don't list my sites <laughs> because I want them available to me when I come back. Yes, I'm being selfish about that. I spend a lot of time and energy going out and uh, finding spots. So I encourage you to do the same to find your own special spots, not my special spots. But my internet here is not that great. I, I wanted to stay here and uh, just get a bunch of videos done and get them loaded. And my internet, the review said four bars, I think, of four, four bars of Verizon and roaming AT&T. So the thing about um, bars is I have discovered it doesn't necessarily mean speed. I, I don't know why the signal strength, right? It should equal speed, but it doesn't. I might have four bars of 4G and still take all day long to load a one gig video. So um, all bars are not the same. And here, I only have like one or two bars here and it's pretty slow. So I put up my TV antenna, which I don't use, but I'm going to go ahead and put my booster up. I don't know why. I tried it in Oregon and I really don't know that it works, but desperate measures call for desperate, desperate times call for desperate measures. I don't want to have to move before I really wanted to just stay here for four days and get some stuff done, get some exercise, just do some stuff, you know, so, and I like it here. All right, so I'm going to go put that up. Drowned in dreams and memory, living in a stilted present.
Shangri-La or parody uh, Went into a painful crescent Actually, I usually just throw it. But it all I can't imagine why it doesn't work. I need a stool. <laughs> Here we go. My hubcap. <laughs> They're carrying around for me. Hoping to find a hubcap lug nut covers so that the hubcap will stay on because they seem to have disappeared. The past will have its demons. What good is it? Today has got its reason to so come and visit. Walking oh, slow boring. but right. surely. I got one it. One day <laughs> at a time. Restless legs for false repose. Grand plans of empty living. It's some of both I do suppose but Neither knows the time we're given And the moment holds our vagrant souls Just relaxing Okay, so I think I figured out why this Maybe why this isn't working Look how loose that is Maybe something came undone That shouldn't be unloose See, the other side is tight Um this is the side that attaches to the outside antenna, so I'm taking it apart to see if I can fix it. And it's one of these, one of these weird star things. Luckily, I bought a new uh, socket set that came with some different, um, different these, whatever these are called. <laughs> See what I've got here. Oh wow, yep. <laughs> no wonder it wasn't working. That wasn't even attached to anything. Bummer. So all right. It see so this side you'll see is attached to that metal plate. This side is broken. Oh, you know what? Oh, okay. I might be able to... Of course, I don't have a solder gun. A solder thing. But I might be able to... Um, super glue it? No, super glue wouldn't conduct. It needs to conduct... The metal needs to be touching the metal. So I can't super glue it. Hmm, what can I do? Okay, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Where are we? There are three plates in there that the three prongs here are supposed to touch. So I'm going to go ahead and try to super glue it. to do. These things are expensive. I can't believe this broke so easily. Let's see what I can do.
today. I enjoyed being here a lot. I had a little bit, like maybe one car a day. I think on the weekends, I might have had two cars come out to my camping spot. So really quiet, really nice. And a lot of walking and I did some geocaching. So it was a really nice place to camp, but the uh, cell signal was really, really, really weak. I had no AT&T and I rely on AT&T mostly for work because AT&T is truly unlimited. Um, say 22 gigs for mobile hotspot but I use way more than that every month uh, for like my just for you know streaming videos for uploading videos for work uh, I I use a lot and they um, they never slow me down but I have no AT&T out here it shows three or four bars but it's doesn't work it's useless I can't even connect to the internet with it so um, Verizon is in 600 feet. Turn left onto Arizona 79 South. Uh, Verizon is 15 gigs of unlimited if you use it as a mobile hotspot. But and if I you when, once I get to 15 gigs, they slow me down to like two, two what is it? Two, two G. So I can't stream videos. I can't upload videos. That's for sure. So um, take the next left onto Arizona 79 South. So it's nice to have two different services that I can rely on. And I, you know, I mean, I just, using my Verizon the last few days, I just used it to upload videos, to work a little bit, and uh, not a lot of TV, which has been really nice. I've been doing a lot of reading, a lot of walking, a lot of relaxing, but I'm gonna go find a new camp. It's about two hours away. The reviews say it's beautiful and that there is plenty of internet, both AT&T and Verizon, and I have some business uh, to take care of today, so I need a good internet signal, phone calls, and an interview for a podcast. So, um, yeah, we'll see what we find next. And it seems like there was something else I was going to say. Anyway, I'll see you when we get there. All right, so I hope you enjoyed today's video about Arizona. I still have some loose ends of footage over the winter that I'm going to share. But I've also got some new footage about some new states that I am traveling to. Some new camps, some beautiful, amazing things, and fun and excitement. And for those of you who stick around just because you want to see what's going to happen next, I got plenty of that for you. So hit the thumbs up. Be sure to like this video. Be sure to subscribe and uh, just be a part of the adventure. I'll see you next time. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. Mwah. I'll see you soon. Huh. Say, we got to teach you. Can you say, oh, patty cake? Say bye. We'll see you soon. <laughs> I'll stop torturing my dog now. <laughs>